In today's episode, I'm taking a look at some of the wide range of grooming products that are available from the perfume parlor, other than their vast range of inspired by fragrances for both men and women. I'll also be coming up with a few handy suggestions on how you can get the best performance out of your favorite smelling fragrances. And if that wasn't enough, I'll be also letting you know how I personally sent my home and also my car with my favorite perfume parlor products. So to find out much more, stay tuned to Mags Frags. Yes, hello again and welcome to this special perfume parlor episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and today I've got something a little bit different for you because uh, this particular episode focuses on the whole range of scented grooming products uh, that are available from the perfume parlor and not just the fragrances themselves. There's actually a full range of products for your body, your home and also your car uh, so you can enjoy your favourite signature scent wherever you go in all its, uh, in all its full glory. Uh, for this particular video I've chosen one of my all time favourite versatile all rounders which is navy intense for men and the perfume parlour code um, on that fragrance is 0061 if you uh, fancy picking up any of these products to try out for yourself in your next haul. However, all of these products that I'm going to talk about today do come in the fragrance of your choice and uh, keep watching the video because I will be giving away one of these featured products worth £11.75 to one lucky winner who is the first to type in the correct keyword down in the comments section uh, and I will reveal that, uh, that keyword somewhere later on in the episode. Obviously due to uh, cost uh, restraints etc, um, entrants must live in the UK and also be subscribed to the Mags Frags channel. Okay, so the first product that I'm going to talk about today is the Hand and Body Wash, uh, which also doubles up as a shower gel. And I think this is a really cool product because it avoids there being like any clash between the aroma of your shower gel and also the fragrance that you're, you're going to apply straight after your shower. It's a luxurious thick gel uh, that lathers up really well and leaves your skin feeling super clean and smelling great. You can think of this as your base layer of fragrance and once you've got out of the shower and you're already smelling great from head to toe uh, but for the purpose of today's demonstration I'm just going to be using my left arm so you can kind of see it in action. According to the Perfume Parlor website it's cruelty free, uh, paraben free and is also suitable for vegans and vegetarians. It comes in a 200ml size bottle and it's priced at £11. And one thing that I, I've got to, to note is uh, on the top of the bottle there um, you will see that there's an open and a stop feature. Just make sure that it is set to open and uh, don't do what I did and uh, spend about 15 minutes trying to press Press, uh, press the top down with it in lock position. Okay, next up is the Scented Hand and Body Lotion, uh, which again comes in the uh, the Navy Intense fragrance. And this is basically a really thick and creamy moisturiser, which is rich in vitamin E and also nourishing coconut oil. It leaves your skin feeling really silky soft. And after applying this straight after the hand and body wash, uh, just to one arm, it was enough to project a, a fairly strong sillage, which I think would be enough to probably get you noticed even with that applying a fragrance. It smells amazing and I was more impressed with how soft it left my skin feeling. It's possibly the worst kept secret in the fragrance community but ask any perfumer or anyone with a sound knowledge of perfumery uh, how to get the best performance out of a fragrance and one of the first tips that they'll give you is to add a body lotion especially if you have uh, very dry skin. And if the uh, the body lotion also is scented with the same fragrance, then you've got the best of both worlds, and you're you're onto an absolute winner. Again, this is uh, free from any harsh chemicals, and it's uh, vegan and it's vegetarian friendly, and it costs thirteen pounds for a two hundred ml bottle size. I've included a really interesting link down in the description to a video of Roger Dove uh, explaining how to apply and get the, the most from your fragrances. And he, he says uh, applying the fragrance before the body lotion is the best way to go. And that way the lotion doesn't get damaged by the initial uh, alcohol blast of the fragrance, which makes pretty good sense. So I might give that a, a bit of a go and uh, see if it makes any difference. But yes, give that uh, video a, a short watch. Uh, it's a, 
nice short video uh, but give it a watch if you've got a scent that you really enjoy but just wished it uh, performed a little bit better and you could get a little bit more out of it Okay, so it's now time to apply the fragrance itself and you can choose between the oils uh, or there's the sprays, but I tend to go for the sprays from the perfume parlor. The standard sprays are usually fine for most people, uh, but to get the best results and best experience from these, you kind of need to let these macerate or mature for a, on a shelf for a few weeks. I've definitely had situations where I thought a fragrance was pretty poor when I first received it and then gone back to it after I've let it uh, settle on a, on a shelf for a few weeks and uh, they've been really good uh, the extract sprays however on the other hand uh, these do last a little bit longer than the standard sprays in terms of the performance but the main thing for me with these is that they're very high quality from day one and you don't really need to give these uh, much maceration time if if any um, I tend to go for the extracts now if I know that I really enjoy the fragrance or if I'm replacing a, a standard spray that I've already owned. So another tip if you want your fragrance to project more is to apply it mainly to your arms and your hands because these are the most mobile parts of your body and people are going to uh, best catch wafts if, uh, of your fragrance uh, when you're kind of gesturing and you're going about your business swinging your arms about whilst you're walking etc. Again if you watch the Roger Dove video he explains why you should uh, never apply a fragrance to the neck uh, and I also like to apply a couple of sprays to my hair because the scent really kind of latches onto it in the same way that it does to fabric so don't forget to give your hair a, a quick blast with a couple of sprays uh, which leads me ni very nicely onto the next section but yeah give myself a couple of sprays Okay, so the uh, next product is one that I've actually never used and I probably never will personally, uh, which is this scented beard oil. And as you can see, I don't have a beard, uh, so I will be giving this uh, Navy Intense scented oil away uh, to one of my uh, lucky Viking lookalike subscribers uh, that will be uh, able to make better use of it. All you have to do uh, to win this exact bottle is to type the word beard into the uh, comment section below and the first person to do so will be the new owner of this lovely scented beard oil. Again, you must live in the UK and I will contact you for your postal details if you are the first person to uh, post the magic word, so good luck. So this comes in a 30ml bottle size and it's 100% pure argan oil uh, and you apply it uh, by just adding a few drops of the oil to your uh, facial bird's nest using this handy little dipstick. Uh, I can grow about 20 hairs and a broken one on my chin and that's about it for me so I'm very jealous of you guys uh, with the full on gladiator beard who can actually use this stuff and uh, make use of it. Yeah, next up is a product that I've mentioned a couple of times now in my haul videos and that's this fragrance dust. It's what I use all the time now to uh, fragrance my home with and I've got to say that this stuff is absolutely amazing. Um, I have tried uh, the wax melts and also the reed diffusers from the perfume parlor but neither are as effective uh, as this in my opinion. Just simply pop a few pinches of the uh, the dust, maybe about 10 pinches of it in the, uh, in the top of a tea light burner and within minutes uh, your whole house is, uh, is smelling of your favourite scent. But the best thing is that when, you, when it's no longer releasing any of the fragrance, you just pop the dust in the bin with absolutely no mess whatsoever, whatsoever like you'd get from the wax melts. It also gives you uh, a really great idea of how a fragrance smell when it's, it smells when it's in the air so you kind of get a third party experience rather than being the wearer of it. I own about 10 tubs of this now and I always, I'm always going to use it from now on. But out of the ones that I actually own I would say I particularly enjoy the Halfetti copy from Penalegans, the Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim copy and the copy of Pomegranate Noir from Joe Malone. They usually cost between £7 to a tenner and they last for months so if you've uh, not tried any of these I'd highly recommend that you give them a go. They'd also make a, a pretty good gift if you knew the uh, favourite fragrance of uh, the person that you were buying some for so really great pickup. And finally, if your car smells like last Sunday's muddy football boots or last night's McDonald's, why not treat yourself to a perfume parlor car air freshener? Again, these come in your favourite signature scents.
This is my second one now, and I originally bought a copy of Killian's Angel Share, uh, which smelled absolutely amazing, and everyone who got in my car uh, commented on how nice it smelled. But after a while, I realised that maybe having my car smell like an old whiskey barrel might not be the smartest idea if I was ever going to get stopped by the police, so now I'm going to replace it with this much more car-friendly navy intense, which is uh, perfect for the summertime. This bottle does have a, a few sharp edges on it, which I was w a little bit worried about uh, it scratching my dashboard at first, uh, but it's been absolutely fine. It did get a little bit annoying when it were like swinging from my rear view mirror, so I ended up uh, putting my other one uh, down on my in indicator stock just out of the way. To use it, just uh, simply remove this uh, wooden cap at the top, and then inside there's a uh, there's a little plastic cap just on the inside on the neck of the bottle. Uh, just remove that little plastic uh, cap, then uh, screw the outer cap back on, and then just turn it upside down for about 10 seconds until it starts to uh, saturate the wood, and that's it. Uh, when it stops releasing the fragrance, just turn the bottle over again, and you'll be good to go again. Uh, my last one has lasted me about six weeks, and there's still plenty of juice left, uh, so they're definitely good for uh, at least six to eight weeks. Okay, so that's it for this overview of some of the other products that are available in the Perfume Parlor range uh, that not many other reviewers seem to talk about. I hope you've uh, found it slightly useful and if you have then please don't forget to give uh, the video a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. I'll uh, be back very soon with another Perfume Parlor haul which is going to be an epic one with uh, 16 Perfume Parlor copies which are all from the same house so to find out uh, which house I'm referring to keep an eye out for that one over the uh, next coming few days. It's also great to hear your opinions and your thoughts and your critiques on all of the fragrances that feature throughout this uh, Perfume Parlor haul uh, series so keep your comments coming down in the comments section. And if you've also got any Perfume Parlor recommendations uh, that you'd like me to, to buy and try out, review and uh, maybe feature in future hauls, uh, please let me know down in the comments. So once again, thank you very much for tuning into this episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye bye for now.